like a Richard Serra sculpture, and that sense of organic monumentalism could very well be the key to Olivia Taiskin's new collection for Nina Ricci. The grandeur of nature played off against the artifice of man. It is a concept. This woman is a very, very young girl who goes into concert, into rave, she has fun. She was very sophisticated to start with, but at six, seven o'clock in the morning when she came out, the hair is a bit destroyed, she got color, feather on the hair, because she had fun all night. In a season where dark fairy tales have popped up on more than a few catwalks, it seems like it would be the right time for Olivia to pull a great show out of the bag. Well, you know, I think that Olivier really is a romantic, and so this season is perfect for him. I wanted really to have this mix, like if the girls would have chosen the clothes by themselves, so they would have like old dresses and new jackets, and you would find them on in the countryside somewhere or someplace, coming back from a festival. I think it's interesting that in that show you see something that looks could be Empress Eugenie mixed with club kids. He's always been interested in the young woman and how she reacts to a contemporary and urban environment. He was a romantic in his days at Rochelle, and now there's a real sense of urban modernism to his clothing. I'm stimulated to do beautiful clothes because in Parisian fashion you have really this, this philosophy of work. And in the same time, I want to have like a, a club that fits for a new generation that is right for now. So what I present is the fruit of that research. He designs for women who consider themselves leaders instead of followers. I thought that was a very beautiful show. I feel almost it was his most accomplished. What I found interesting here is that his movement from sort of Victorian Chekhovian women, whom he created for, you know, the long-fitted dresses, have become quite a forest fairies. We can't not not say the brilliance of his staging. It's a whole ambiance that he creates. It really goes back to the very beginning when he started. The evening gowns were exquisite. Exquisite. I wanted to finish with a real Richie note. The real, real Richie, so this girl in white, ethereal, celestial. So this is more of a true. It's not a princess, but for me it's really this richy, extremely feminine and fragile, eternally youth girl. You know, it's really that idea. His vision is a very fragile woman, but at the same time extremely confident, who knows where she's going. So in all, it sums up what Nina Ricci, the house, is all about. An absolute illusion. No, I think you have to accept that there is fragility, because that is part of everyday life, and that's why I think it's so authentic. He's a very different type of person, very different type of, type of designer, and he's a very different type of soul. He's probably the only one left true romantic, like he's a dreamer.